What's up, YouTube? Tommy Forte, aka Tommy Israel. I'm doing a video about the WAP video and the WAP song or the WAP song, whatever. But the name of this video is uh, WAP Response is the Reason for DJ Pope and Ghetto Gaggers. Or DJ Kid and Ghetto Gaggers. WAP Response is the response to the WAP video is the reason why we have DJ Kid, who slept with all of those underage, and some were uh, the appropriate age black females in South Carolina, allegedly giving them HIV, as well as ghetto gaggers. Okay, you all know what ghetto gaggers are. These are it's a porn site where a lot of young black females go and get mistreated, slapped. Uh, they're choked, they're, you know, they're uh, berated verbally, you know, they make them vomit, they spit on them, and all of these things. Now, I was looking at the WAP response, a lot of WAP responses from a lot of black females, and I can honestly say I was disappointed. I was disappointed the way a lot of black females responded to that video okay the main reason why I, f I felt disappointed because you don't really see Arab girls shaking and gyrating their body and saying those sexual things when you come across Arab girls you don't never see that you have them on a bus or at a bus stop or in Walmart you don't see Arab girls acting unruly you just don't you don't see Jewish girls doing these things. You don't see Asian girls doing these things. The only girls that you see doing these things are black females. Okay? Those are the only ones that you see in, that you see acting unruly. You know, it's nothing for a black female to be twerking in them in McDonald's with all her butt cheeks out. It happens. You go to a parade. I live in New Orleans. You go to these Mardi Gras parades, and the drill team and a dance team, you know, have these middle age, uh, middle school girls, 12, 13 years old, out there gyrating their body, acting very promiscuous. Okay. But the way the sisters were responding, like saying things like, I feel liberated. That that video <clears throat> and the song liberated them. How did it liberate you? Liberate means to free. What are you being free from? I heard, heard somebody say that's, that's black empowerment. How, how is that black empowerment? That's not empowering you. Empowering you to do what? Make another video? I mean, I thought somebody like uh, I thought somebody like Madam C.J. Walker was an imp was empowering. I thought somebody like uh, Harriet Tubman was empowering. That's not empowering. I also heard uh, a lot of people say, a lot of black females say, uh, white singers do it too. Show me. Show me where white girls make songs like that. I mean, in this song after song after song, see girls <clears throat> talking about how, how they got a, how they stuff have a grip to it and all of that stuff. That's all they're rapping about is their body parts and how they use them. I don't think, and it's not funny. You know, like I said, I used to, I used to teach middle school and fifth grade and stuff like that. You know, and you used to hear the girls sing nasty songs all the time. This is the worst. I don't want to hear nobody 11 years old singing that stuff. 
That's not cute. And there's always somebody who look like me with skin color like mine that's singing this stuff and acting it out. They don't realize they're singing it while adults around. No other race does this. <clears throat> Another response, <clears throat> you hear a lot of black females say, why Kylie Jenner had to be in it. So in other words, you want to be the only hoe in the house. You want the black females to be the only hoe in the house. Can't have no other race. So that's the thing. Black females, y'all don't want to y'all don't want to share nothing, especially with a white woman. If you think it's yours, y'all not trying to say y'all not trying to share it. But you expect all kind of females to share with you. You can you can have her man. You can have her white man go out a date on a white man, but she better not come date your black man. She can, she, you can wear her uh, hairstyles like her, but she can't wear a hairstyle like you. You can blonde your hair, you can dye your hair blonde, but she can't wear braids. Another thing that I heard a lot of black females say, and again, let me be specific. You know, most of these girls who responded like this were in their uh, in their twenties. You know, I've seen a couple because Trina is in her 40 talking about uh, her response was other uh, people who respond, their stuff must be dry. That's sad. You already made songs about anal sex and all this other foolishness. Nicki Minaj, her, her name, Mickey, Nicki Minaj. Minaj comes from Minaj a trois. That means three sons. This is what we're doing as a people. This is sad. Uh, another thing is art. It's just the way, it's just expression. Express yourself another way. I don't see them white girls doing that. When Woe Vicky uh, and Lil Debbie come out with a song like that, and is is perverted and vulgar and sexual. When it when they come out one like that and and it blows up and you have little white girls that's in middle school singing it, then come talk to me. White people gonna shut they'll shut that down. They're not having it. But for us, see, it's <clears throat> the same thing as Denzel and Holly Berry. Denzel won from being a a so-called thugger. Thuggish, gangsterous, crooked cop. And Holly Berry won from being a hoe for a white man. Same thing. They're giving us these same images. All in the 80s, you know, you know, when after colors, next thing you know, they started pushing, pushing, pushing the gangster image on black males. The gangster and thug image on black males. And then when that ran its course, when they feel like shucks, well, okay, we already and thugged them out. What did they do next to the black male? They started pushing homosexuality on them. And now look what that is. Look what that's doing. And with the women, you know, they've been pushing sex and, and whoredom on them. And now, now they're pushing swirling on them. Another thing about the video you know, number one is satanic, all the snakes all around. And then, you know, you, you, the way they all on each other, you know, it's le lesbianism, homosexuality. I remember when black females didn't touch each other like that. I remember a black female would have slapped you in your face if you would have asked her for a threesome. But the more and more we blend in with, with, with the dominant society, the more, the less segregated we are and the more we integrate, the more and more we pick up their habits and their customs. And it's happening. And the way we respond to this video, the way we respond to this video is the same reason why that guy, DJ Pope, you know, a guy in his 40s, was able to 
have sex with those high school and you know some of them 15 16 you know one was 13 um some were 19 20 21 but he was he was able to run through all those black females why by offering them the bag the bag concert tickets backstage passes a hundred dollars if he could get between your legs and nobody was saying anything because it was all for the bag. And he stated his reasons why he was doing it. He said the black, he said all those black females desired interracial hook. Uh, they wanted to, uh, an interracial feeling. And then he said his purpose was so he can infect them with HIV so they can bring it back to black males. All the while he's sitting up there taking pictures with a lot of these black men, a lot of these uh, black rappers and celebrities. So he he you know he's that he's he's the spy culture vulture. I think they're all spies, but this is what he was able to do. And then we're silent on ghetto gaggers. A lot of black females they don't want to touch that because number one they don't want to make they don't want to make the white man seem bad. They don't want to make him seem like the enemy and they don't want to highlight him abusing them, sexually abusing them and raping them. Ghetto Gag has been out for what, 12 years? You would think that would be shut down now, but it's, they're getting two and three girls a day. I mean, a week. Some girls don't even get filmed. I mean, some girls don't even get uh video set up because you know the, the, they got to stop filming because the girls can't take it so we got we got to do we got to do better we you know we we're losing uh our moral fiber at one time a video like wap would have never existed at one time ghetto gaggers would have never existed i'm not gonna say dj pope would have never existed because people don't realize you know, before segregation, uh, or during segregation, especially during the South, a lot of white males used to cross those tracks to get with a lot of sisters. You know, before the set, before nineteen, uh, before the seventies, most biracial children came from white men and black females. Once integration happened, then it switched. To black males and white females. So again, we got to do better as a people. Got to do better as a people. This video was soft porn, and it was targeted. It's targeted for young black females. That's, you know, in school, high school and middle school, and in some cases, elementary. And music gets into your soul, your eardrums. You remember those? <clears throat> you used to have Tupac, um, N.W.A., Snoop Dogg, Master P videos or whoever. Don't start no stuff, won't be no stuff. You the songs come on, people start fighting in the club. What you think them songs gonna do to these these females, these young black females? I'm Tommy Forte. And hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you later.